You know, Peg, it's kind of nice sitting here like this with you. How many beers did you have tonight, Al? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> so I guess we're about a six-pack short of sex, huh? At least. <laughs> Do I have juicy gossip? It's about Cousin Jimmy. Uh-oh. Did he find out our little bud slept with his bride on their wedding day? Oh. He must have. I heard he's getting a divorce and he's coming to see Bud today. I think he's gonna squish the little love critter. <laughs> Well, here's the footstool of love now. <laughs> Family, this is my lucky day. I was at school, and there was one of the great parties in all of history, a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> Large hootered Midwestern farm girls were sliding down this beer chute half naked. There was dancing, there was loving. My first big frat party. Just a great bunch of guys having the time of their lives and it took him a full 15 minutes to see me peeking in the window and kick me out. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dad, you should have seen them. They were biggins. They were little-ins. Round-ins. Pear-shaped-ins. Here-a-none, there-a-none. everywhere and a none Ah, oh, sure, like I'm the only peeping Tom in this family. Well, I guess you deserve to know, Tiny Dancer. <laughs> Cousin Jimmy's on his way over to have a little chat with you. Well, well, well what do you think he wants? Your b, -b, -b butt in a sling. <laughs> oh my God, that must be Jimmy. You better run. <laughs> oh. 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 Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Cousin Bud. Hi, Cousin Kelly. Hi, Uncle Al, Aunt Peggy. Hello, Cousin Buck. Uh, it's too bad we only get together at weddings and funerals. Step outside, bud. Oh, all right, I'll handle this. Come on in, Jimmy. We heard the news. Congratulations. Hey, anybody can eat 100 Whoppers. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the breakup. Now, let's face it, you already had the honeymoon. That's the best part of the marriage. If it goes any longer, they turn into this. <laughs> and if you're really unlucky, you get a couple of these. <laughs> then you turn into this. Yeah, but she was the perfect woman. She was beautiful, she was rich, and her parents are dead. Boy, he must really want to kill that guy. Kill him? I want to rend him. I want to rip off his arms, shove one of them down his throat, and have him tear out his own heart. <laughs> anyway, Bud, I need to talk to you. Bud? <laughs> you crack me up. Now get outside. Uh, I'll, I'll be right with you. Oh, Dad, I don't want him to pull my arms off and rip off my heart. <laughs> All I did was sleep with his wife. What does he want from me? <laughs> Now, Bud, just relax. I know how to handle this. I met a lot of big, stupid bullies when I was growing up. Uh-uh, Al. When you were growing up, you were the big, stupid bully. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> I was good at it, too. But I wasn't just big and stupid. I was also mean. <laughs> I used to scare people like you. Your mother scares me. <laughs> Dad, can you ox around later? I'm facing death over here. All right, all right. Now. Here's what you do. As soon as he opens his mouth, you punch him right in the bread basket with everything you got. He'll drop faster than a stock after I buy it. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. All right, now go get him. All right, go get him. <laughs> Pig looks like there'll just be three of us for dinner. <laughs> Bud, I got a dilemma. This thing's really eating me up. 